What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Bruja Africana, coming to you all with the tarot read. Go ahead and like, subscribe, and share my channel. And check out some of these damn merch items we got down here. We got a little bit of things going on at the store that I'd like for y'all to check out. Anyway, let's talk about this ASAP Fenty, y'all. Let's talk about Mr. and Mrs. ASAP Fenty. And let's talk about... um. This optimism that's coming up around this couple here, these two beautiful black folk here, these two Bayesian black people that we have here that are basking in black love and doing their thing and doing what we assume or, or what they allowing us to see. Here we have Rihanna and ASAP Rocky um, as the Pisces and the Libra mix. I don't know how that, that shakes out. Um, a Libra and a Pisces, I feel like Rihanna may be a little bit too emotional for him, or she may be quite emotional in the situation, and I could be wrong. It could be ASAP Rocky that's the emotional one, but let us continue to talk. I know the biggest question is, will they get married? But we're going to say that for the end of the reading. What we do have is two people that are very much so in love and in a good, beautiful space in the relationship status that they're in. And um, they're not necessarily looking towards the real future. I'm going to go ahead and answer y'all now. The Hierophant card and the Hangman card showing up, that's a no. Not right now. Maybe in the future they may get married, but right now they are not entertaining marriage. Rihanna is very eclectic in her thoughts about a relationship and ASAP Rocky is cool with, you know, let me give her this promise that it's going to be me, her and the boys for however long forever is for the two of us. So for right now, they are living in the moment, if you will. I know that y'all are in a rush to see the two of them get married, but it ain't on the cards or in the cards for them, not right now, simply because Rihanna feels like there are some things that there are some miscommunications going on in their relationship, not to mention there are some things that she ain't quite got past. I know y'all know that ASAP did cheat on her with that very basic French bitch, but you know, she's trying to work beyond that and she's trying to gather herself, if you will. Not that she's angry about it or anything, but you know how us girls are. That shit popped back up in our head from time to time. That time that nigga cheated on you. And that's what goes on in their relationship sometimes. Rihanna sit back and think, wait a minute, this nigga did cheat on me. This nigga did step out here and dare cheat on robbing Rihanna motherfucking Fenty. Not that she, again, like she's not angry. She's still fucking with him and all of that. But Sometimes that Pisces go to Pisces and then she gets to thinking and talking like, you know, do you remember when you fucked with old so-and-so, that little thin head white girl? What, what was it about her that made you cheat on me? Not that Rihanna is insecure, but sometimes, you know, that three of swords happen. We relive that ten of nine situation. We, uh, we, we go revisit that to see if this nigga still on the up and up. Rihanna looking at the situation like, look, yes, we're in a very good place. But we're not really past that, not to mention ASAP Rocky got a bunch of legal shit going on. Not that she doesn't want to get tied up in it, but she wants to make sure that they're going forward with a clean slate if they are going to even entertain marriage. She wants to make sure that they've healed from the things that she's done to hurt him because Rihanna has cheated on him as well. They both cheated on each other, but they kept their shit on the tuck. They both understand each other. But at the same time with the eight of coins showing up, well, let's say each of them feel like there's some work to be done. And they said Rocky ain't fighting her on it. You know, um, the Libra energy shows up underneath the um, Queen of Swords. And for at least the present moment, he's being honest with her. But he is a little pissed off and in his feelings that Rihanna won't marry him. Like, she like, you know, you need to grow as a man a little bit, even though, yeah, we just had these boys, but I need to know, I need to be secure in our situation. And he's going on, he like, look, I'm going to work with you. That's seven of baskets energy, that's Pisces energy. He, he working with his Pisces. He's at least trying to settle her mind that when he's out and about, these whores are not going to be able to disrupt what they have going on, especially because ASAP has the history of doing that. Well, I don't think he has the um, intentions on trying to embarrass Rihanna because there she is showing up as the mother of ones. I mean, nigga, you cheat on Rihanna. You just cheated on one of the biggest artists in the world. But 
he is worried about Rihanna being Rihanna because y'all know her. Nigga, you cheat on me. I'm going to do it back. Y'all heard her in work. She said me, no kiss him, her, touch, her, touch, her. She ain't playing. But they're not really on that. ASAP Rocky is kind of looking like, yo, I do see the future with you. Like, especially after she had RZA. He really started changing after she had RZA. That's his son, his first son. He like, oh, no, I don't want to, you know, fuck this up. I want my son to see his daddy. Then she got pregnant with Riot. That's where their two of coins come in. He like, yo, we legally bound each other now. We may as well go and move forward. ASAP Rocky looking in at it as a six of wands stance like, yo, we halfway there. Let's just go on and jump this broom. But knowing that Rihanna being the queen witchy witchy gal that she is, she's consorting with her ancestors, baby. And her grandmama show up top up there in that leadership position. And maybe these are two aunties. Let's tell her, uh-uh, baby, do nothing. Mm-mm, sit still. See, they're telling her to sit still because they want to make sure that she's not with another man that's going to fight her. And she's with a man that is going to be productive towards her sons with their father of wands showing up. And not to be disrespectful, I say this respectfully, they're trying to make sure she does not marry a man that's like her father. Now, you know, her father had those issues with being violent towards her mother and them when they were little. Her ancestors are really looking out for that. Um... They doubt that he's changed. Rihanna thinks that, yeah, they've moved forward, but Rihanna's ancestors feel like, ah, keep your eye on this nigga, sis. Yeah, y'all got these cute little boys and all of that, but all it may take is an opportunity for him. And that Ace of Coins shows up showing that they feel like he may be a little bit opportunistic, like he may have gotten her pregnant with the... um intentions on trapping her. And come on now, Rihanna's a fucking billionaire. Why would he not trap her? Rihanna's like, okay, cool. If he's on that type of time, I'm going to get on some hermit shit and I will raise my sons alone. Okay. She was definitely like this after she had RZA because ASAP was still doing a little bit of cutting up a little bit. And she like, look, nigga, I'll pack my shit and me and my baby will be fine. We will go on and we'll move back to uh, the U.S. or we'll leave the fucking U.S. and we'll we'll move. We'll move home. And y'all know where home is for her. She'll go home to Barbados. And she like, I'll raise my kids on my own. OK, you either going to get it together. We going to work on a core or I'm going to be a single mother. And it's not like she couldn't afford to motherfucking take care of her babies by herself. She doesn't want to. That's the thing. Not that she is looking forward to single parenthood, but she's letting him know like, nigga, yo, I got this. If you decide that you, if you trip and you fall, I got this. I'm going to make sure that my sons are fine. I'm going to make sure that we move quickly. And not only that, Rihanna showing up with that strength card, that Leo energy, like baby, and I'm going to move on from you too. Okay. And she might tear his ass up with that mother of knives showing up. Like, you know, Rihanna ain't no joke over there, okay? But that's directly directed towards him, that Libra energy showing up. Like, she talking to that Libra, nigga, don't play with me, okay? So for right now, they're not going to get married. Rihanna has been instructed by her ancestors and whomever her higher power is, don't do anything right now. Sit and relax and enjoy the relationship. And that's what they're asking us to do, y'all. Enjoy them right now as they are. Because Rihanna may not marry him. All right, y'all.